Hi everyone, welcome to a new class in North America's TV. Today we're going to learn about hydroponic growing systems. What are the products that you need to make beautiful crops using different hydroponic systems? So let me start explaining um, different kind of systems and uh, how to recognize which system is better for our crop. So we're going to speak about DFT, deep flow technique, which is also uh, called sometimes deep water culture. Uh, we will also learn about NFT systems, Dutch bucket systems, grow bags, ebb and flow, and berry trucks. So let's start with deep water culture. Uh, so this system is basically made for small crops like leafy greens. Um, and in this system, we will have uh, floating rafts. So this means that our roots will be uh, in the water and they will be floating uh, using a floating raft. So important aspects of this system is that since we have all our roots below the water, it is important to um, make the environment um, a good environment for the root zone. So we, we know that the roots need oxygen. So uh, in order to have a better management of this system, we will need to have something that can create oxygen. Uh, you can use an air stone like is showing in this picture, or for example, uh, you can also make uh, this kind of arrangement with uh, PVC tubing. Um, and this is all because we want to ensure that the roots will have enough oxygen so they can um, um, stay beautiful in a white color, uh, healthy roots. So you, you always need to check your roots in any kind of system. Uh, so in deep water culture, uh, it's a very good option um, because you can, uh, you can set a lot of plants together. Um, and here we can see the plant density that is usually used for lettuce, which is 24 lettuce heads per square meter. This is like the highest density that you can approach with this system. So um, deep water culture is also used for vertical farming. Um, and uh, this, this kind of system is also uh, very useful, not only for lettuce, but also for herbs. If you're growing like arugula or basil, uh, this is the kind of system that you can use. And since you have a lot of volume of uh, nutrient solution, is, uh, is easier than other system to maintain a pH and EC levels. So remember that you need to care about oxygen levels uh, in the water. So for this, in Hot Americas, we offer different uh, solutions. So in here, I'm showing uh, Moliere, which is a system uh, that will inject um, bubble bubbles of oxygen into your system. Um, in um, deep water culture, uh, we have a lot of water, a lot of, of nutrient solution, and you need to care about the oxygen levels and also the temperature. Because temperature, when the temperature start to rise, then oxygen gel levels will tend to uh, be lower. So using this kind of system, you can ensure that your plants will get enough oxygen to keep your roots healthy and uh, beautiful. So general products that you need for deep water culture. So you will need uh, the, the beaver boards that we have also in Horto Americas and uh, substrates. Um, the substrates that are more, more common use in this kind of system are uh, rocco. So let's move to NFT. So NFT channels or NFT system, uh, this is also a system for small crops like leafy greens. And um, the difference with this system is that in here we, we will create a film of nutrient solution that will move in our channels. So in here we can see two different setup uh, for NFT systems. 
remember uh, only to use small plants for this kind of system. And uh, we will usually uh, look for a water flow uh, with um, um, velocity of water between 0.1 to 0.5 liters per minute. So what do you need for this system? For this system, you will need uh, the channels, the NFT channels. Uh, you will also need irrigation equipment for, for being able to move all, all the nutrient solution through the channels. And you will also need a substrate. So at uh, the same as uh, deep water culture, in this kind of system, you can use substrates uh, like rodan or rockwool. And don't forget, uh, when you're growing leafy greens, you need to have good airflow because uh, if you don't have good airflow, then you can create conditions to develop calcium deficiency. Um, you can remember this from, from previous classes where we were learning about how some nutrients will move in the plant within the water. And if we don't have enough uh, airflow in our air environment, then um, calcium, which is one of the nutrients that can move within the water, won't be able to go to new leaves and then we'll, we will have some symptoms that you really don't want inside of your greenhouse. So in Horta Americas, we can also offer solutions for this. Uh, we have Boosterman's Airflow Fans, which is a fan that can create very, very uniform and nice airflow uh, in your plants. And uh, both system, the water culture and NFT system are used in vertical farming. So remember that in Horta Americas, we also provide solutions for vertical farming. Uh, usually in this kind of setup, you will need uh, artificial lighting and we can provide you with um, multiple options so you can get the best light quality for your plants. So in here I'm showing GE Arise Life, which is the kind of lamps that we usually use for vertical farming. Then uh, let's move to ebb and flow systems. So this system uh, is for small or big crops. So in here you can also put uh, bigger crops, not only leafy greens. Um, and uh, how this system works. So in this system, you will have a reservoir where the nutrient solution will be, but uh, then uh, you will make irrigations and uh, when you turn on uh, the water pump, then uh, the water or your nutrient solution will go up and irrigate your plants. So you can do this multiple times a day, but the water will move from the reservoir to uh, the container with your plants. So in Horta Americas, we offer also a system that it's an ebb and flow system made for vertical farming. So this is a very complete, complete equipment because it has already uh, the reservoir in here. Uh, it has the irrigation supplies that you will need to move the water from the reservoir to the different levels. And uh, you will find also uh, the lamps uh, that are already with uh, this kind of system that we call the grow rack, Port America's grow rack. And uh, this will be a system that you can use for growing leafy greens or microgreens. Very, very easy, very easy to use. And uh, this is just a picture of a setup that is in Monterrey, Mexico. And here we can see that they are growing arugula and uh, also lettuce in this system. You can see how all the lights are turned on and the system is working really nice. So ebb and flow system can also be used for vertical farming. Let's move to grow bags. So grow bags is mainly used for big crops like buying crops, cannabis, and uh, it can also be used, for example, for, for pepper. And um, this, this system is a little bit different to the rest uh, that I have mentioned. And um, this is because in this system, we will have drip irrigation. So this, I think, is the most um, system uh, related to traditional, uh, traditional agriculture. Um, so in this one, you will have drip irrigation. So 
all your plants will have a drip system. You obviously will need uh, irrigation supplies. In the Horta Americas, we can also provide um, a lot of supplies for irrigations. Um, the brand that we use is uh, Netafilm. And uh, so for this system, you can, you can uh, use uh, some grow bags that are made for, of different kinds of substrates. This is a grow down slab that is also a um, very, very, uh, very nice substrate for um, small crops or also big crops like, like uh, the ones that we use for, for this kind of system. And, um, and remember that uh, you need to uh, monitor your system. So we also can provide you uh, sensors so you can, you can track your EC and pH that is really important in this kind of system. So usually when we use grow bags, we don't recirculate our water. Uh, if you want to recirculate your water, you will need to have some filters of UV uh, um, protection just for cleaning your solution before going again into the system. So we usually have in this system deep irrigation and uh, you will have a drainage that you need to monitor, but um, most of the time you cannot uh, use that, um, that solution again. And let's move now to Dutch bucket system. So Dutch bucket system is also used for big crops. Uh, it can also be used for small crops, but um, commonly used for buying crops or also cannabis. So I'm using here a picture that you can find in our blog. Uh, that is why it has so many arrows, but I wanted to use it because um, just to let you know that you can go into our blog and visit this, these articles where you can find all the material, all the products that you can use to build your Dutch bucket system. So in here we have a reservoir, then we have the buckets, which is the name of the system, the Dutch buckets. Uh, these buckets are connected to a uh, PVC tube and uh, we have kind of a drip irrigation system, which is this, this is a system that will get the nutrient solution to your plants and uh, the water or, or the nutrient solution that is not used uh, for your, um, from your plants, then will go to the PVC system and go back to the reservoir. So in this system, you can recirculate your nutrient solution. So here you can see how in real life you, um, you can uh, um, see how these buckets look. So we have different, different colors. You can get black, you can get um, something um, less, uh, um, with less color if you want to, to maintain certain temperature. If you have problems, for example, with heat, uh, always go uh, for a color that is not black. So um, in here, you can see a setup with a Dutch bucket system. And something that you can notice in here is the substrate. So for the substrate, we, we will usually use aggregate substrates like perlite or also clay balls that we also can provide you in Horta Americas. And last but not less important, um, let's move to berry trails. So um, this system is mainly used for strawberry production. So a strawberry is a very difficult crop. It's not that I want to afraid you about strawberries, but it's a crop that you need to provide a lot of conditions, like special conditions to the crop to develop um, with success. So uh, berry trucks is a very efficient um, system for a strawberry production. So in this system, you will have drip irrigation, which is very similar as the, as the grow bags that I showed you for, for tomato. Uh, but in this system, you will have drip irrigation and you will have plastic drugs where um, you can put your plants. Usually for a strawberry, we put 10 plants per linear meter. Uh, and you need to provide at least two liters 
of substrate to each of your plants. So these, uh, these straw that we use in Hort Americas are designed specifically for strawberries. So this means that you will provide enough volume of substrate to your plants. And the substrate that we use usually for this system is perlite or different uh, kind of mixes with coconut core. Uh, you can also uh, use, uh, for example, pit moss, uh, coconut core or perlite mixed for strawberries. Uh, so we'll, you will put all your substrate inside of the truck and uh, this system is mainly used for tabletop. Uh, so you can use that setup for a strawberry and obviously you will need your irrigation equipment for uh, delivering the nutrient solution to your plants. And in this system, uh, we also are not able to uh, recirculate of water. This is mainly because it's too much substrate and too much roots that won't make uh, like a clean environment for your nutrient solution. That is why we don't recirculate. But if you want to do it, you can do it using filters or UV lighting. And don't forget, uh, speaking about all the system that I have, uh, that I uh, spoke in this presentation, uh, in our Hort Americas, we also can provide you all the equipment that you need uh, to monitor your system. Uh, we can uh, provide you with uh, Blue Lab equipment, which is um, mainly for monitoring your solution. Uh, we can monitor uh, pH, EC, also the temperature of the roots, on the, which, also, which is also very important. And we also have some options if you, you want to um, uh, also record, for example, light or air temperature. Um, we can we can provide you with those with those uh, sensors. And just again, as as I always do in our presentation, this is our team, the Hort Americas team. And so please feel free to uh, reach any any of us uh, if you have any questions. Uh, about our products or, or if you need a quotation, please uh, reach us. We will be happy to assist you and help to get the best products for your, uh, for your setup and uh, your uh, plant production.